Broadly speaking, the field of epigenetics seeks to understand how additional information that's not hardwired into the DNA code influences how the genetic instructions stored within the genome are used. In my lab, we're particularly interested in understanding one type of epigenetic modification called DNA methylation. You can think about DNA methylation as a chemical do not use tag that's physically attached to the DNA sequence. This tag marks regions of the genome that need to be turned off, including not only genes, but also mobile segments called transposons. These and other mobile genetic elements, if left unchecked, have the potential to move around randomly, wreaking havoc on the genome. Defects in the patterns of DNA methylation can result in developmental defects in plants and are associated with numerous diseases in humans, including cancer. We use the plant Arabidopsis thaliana as a model, and this system is proven to be a really excellent tool to study epigenetic processes in general and DNA methylation in particular. What we found is a family of proteins, which we call the Classy family. These factors, when you genetically manipulate them individually, affect the targeting of DNA methylation to specific sites within the genome, and each one of the family members affects a different set of sites. This tells us that the Classy family is playing an important role in regulating where in the genome DNA methylation is going to be deposited. Uh, we're using the Arabidopsis plant as a model for our DNA methylation study. We grew the plant and isolated the genomic DNA, uh, which contains the genetic and epigenetic information, such as DNA methylation. Then we're using this DNA for sequencing the resulting data capture the genome-wide DNA methylation pattern for our study. What's really significant about this finding is that it allows us to begin understanding how the pathways can be modulated to generate different patterns of DNA methylation, either in different cell types, tissues, or in response to developmental or environmental cues. There are a number of examples where changes not in the DNA sequence, but instead changes in the patterns of where DNA methylation marks reside, result in developmental defects that affect crop fitness or crop yields. Understanding how DNA methylation patterns are regulated on a more basic level using the plant Arabidopsis will be beneficial in understanding how epigenetic defects that arise in crops can either be prevented or corrected. The identification of factors like the classes that control DNA methylation patterns with a high degree of precision has broad implications not only for the improvement of crop defects, but also for the treatment of human diseases like cancer that are also associated with defects in DNA methylation.